How's it, guys? I uh, recently watched um, a stream highlight from uh, M Dog, very very nice channel on YouTube. I'll post a, a link in the description to his channel. Very nice channel where he spoke about the flying collar rig. That's what I'm holding now, uh, and the different methods you can use to try and do this challenge, the marine marine challenge. Uh, he mentioned how difficult it is. It is very difficult, at least for me, anyway. As you can see, I've gone through most of it. And uh, this one is this one that I just haven't been able to do. And I have caught a lot of fish on this. Uh, let's see if I can show you. Uh, I believe it's this one. Uh, where is it? A flying collar rig. I have caught 1,233 fish with this rig and zero trophies. And as you can see, like the marine lure jigging rig, I have less fish and three trophies so like i don't know if this this rig is cursed for me or or what yeah i just don't i just don't have any luck when it comes to this challenge so however uh i am able to catch fish as as you saw i caught plenty of fish uh, i just wanted to show you guys uh, now m dog explained uh the different methods you can do it uh how you can you can just drop it in let it sink to the bottom and uh, then you hang it. I, I just call it hanging it. All right. And uh, type of fish will bite. Because with, with the drifting of the boat, it's giving it motion. Uh, and that is what this rig requires. As you see there, I just caught a fish just like that. Um, that is what this rig requires. What is it? It's a sorry. Okay. That's not unusual, actually. Let me just congratulate that fellow. What a trophy says. Very nice one, actually. So you can just throw it in. You can. I just let it smash into the bottom, and then I, I reel it up a bit, and then I let it hang. And now, because the the water is quite rough, and the wind is quite heavy, the boat will actually be moving quite well. Because uh, your the movement of the boat actually depends on the weather. So if the weather's calm, you won't move as fast. And so that's one of the things you have to take into account. There we get a fish again. Oh, it's quite quite active. Uh, let's see what this is. As you can see, this method does indeed work. Um, funny thing about this method is it's, it's hit and miss. Like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then the the other method he showed was uh, trolling. You just Set the boat to trailing and you throw the lure in and you let it sit in the bottom layer. Uh, that does indeed work. There's another fish. It's actually, wow, it's actually really active today. That's very nice to see. <laughs> you don't normally get this kind of activity. Especially with this rig. This rig is, uh, can be very, very slow. Let's try that again. Let it hit the bottom, just like that, and then you bring it up. Now, the, the the point of this of this rig is it's you're supposed to just drift along the, the bottom, and it looks like a a fish just swimming just above the bottom, and then all the predators that hide in the little holes and whatnot, they'll just jump up and grab it. And uh, this is supposed to actually work quite well, although in this game, like I said, it's it's hit and miss. Like sometimes it works really well, sometimes it doesn't. And, and then um, the the hardest part is finding what law works. Because with with, the, with this um, rig, the the fish art seems to be ultra particular about what color the lure is. You can go through four or five different lures, get zero zero bites, and then you pick the right one, and you you get activity like this, and it's just off the charts it's crazy and then another peculiar thing about this rig is that you'll go you'll get activity like this and then it will instantly die and you'll, you'll just get no bites at all however if you change your lure and you find the right one again then you'll find activity again it's it's very very strange uh, we don't seem to be getting anything at the moment yeah well we have that let me show you the setup yeah i'm running 
45 kilogram line, 60 kilogram leader, because of the sharks, they'll bite it off if it's smaller than 60, uh, 400 gram sinker. Using a colorful one, because the fish uh, are attracted by brightly colored things. And I'm using a 0.4 meter leader. I'm also using a Cobra SW Aberdeen size five. See if there, there, there's a fish on. And obviously the flying worm. Now the Aberdeen hook, uh, is made for use with with plastics and then we have a flat fish that's exactly what we're looking for the Aberdeen hook as you can see let me just look at it it has a really long shank now the the point of that is that it sits inside here and then your hook will come out here like this See, if you're using a, 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 a normal hook, it's going to be sitting up here. Now, a fish might grab the bottom and not hook itself. So you you want a long hook. Let's see if we can get another fish here. I'll pull it out of the bottom. Probably just went over a hole. And I am fishing on the 34 meter bank, which is a very nice place to fish with this rig. I'm also um, dropping off the edge here. That might be a problem. Actually, let's just, just pick it up. And then I can also show you. My other favorite me method of fishing with this this uh, this rig. Now I've mentioned, well, I've turned you hanging. And I've mentioned trailing. Where well, you're just trailing along, you throw it out the window here. Uh, both are good methods, but my favorite, once, once the boat stops, is I will set my retrieval speed to 4. And then I'm just going to bang it out as far as I can. I'll let it sink to the bottom. Now I'll close the spool, and then I'm just going to sit and reel it back in. Now this method has caught me a lot of fish. Yep, there you have it. Oh, this is quite a nice one actually. Make sure it's hooked. What do we have? This is a fairly decent fish. Oh, look at that. Okay, it's pulling that line. What I like to see. I'm gonna have to drink some coffee with this one. It's busy eating my strength there. No, I just want to say. Uh, thank you to M Dog for reminding me about this. <laughs> I always, I always mean to get back to it and actually get this challenge done. And I've been meaning for for quite a while to make make this uh, video. And you reminded me that I wanted to do that and gave me a little bit of inspiration. So I thought I'd share with you guys my experiences using this rig, uh, my methods, and. The results. Yeah, so I have a fair amount of experience with this rig, so I thought I'd, I'd share it as well. And hopefully, M Dog will watch this video and uh, get a little bit, little bit of inspiration for himself, so he can go and get the challenge done for himself as well. What does this? Is. It, it looks like a flatfish. It looks like a very nice flatfish. Oh. You have got to be freaking kidding me. You have got to be freaking kidding me. I cannot believe I just did this on camera. I didn't, I didn't actually expect to do this. I've been trying for so long. I did not expect to do this. Oh my gosh.
Well, there you have it. That is how you use the flying color rig. And that's how you can com complete this challenge. My gosh, I can't believe this. This is freaking awesome. Let me just pop a screenshot of this. I'm going to remember this for a while. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. So once again, uh, thank you M-Dog for being my inspiration to finally get this challenge done. You're my freaking hero. <laughs> and to everybody else who's been trying this for freaking ever and it hasn't been working, there's your inspiration. Hopefully uh, everybody else can pop out here and get this done. I will actually, um, I'm so happy right now. I'm just going to, I'm going to leave this video right here. And tight lines, best of luck to everybody else. Uh, take care. I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.